Hey there everyone, this is Ray Carcillo for Classic Game Room, and today we are looking at Blitz the League 2 for the Xbox 360. Hey, hang on, hang on, come on, man. One of the final games for Midway before declaring Chapter 11 at the beginning of 2009, Blitz the League 2 surprisingly expanded and fleshed out the story mode for this sports series in ways that make it one of the most entertaining and fun arcade sports experiences out there. You play as the franchise, the greatest football prospect to come out of college in decades, and are drafted into the newly expanded league. The corrupt commissioner tries to persuade you to play for his personal team, the newly formed LA Riot, but instead you immediately get on his bad side by declaring you will play for only your hometown team. This sets in motion events that will see you try to climb your way through the league's three divisions while trying to take down the corrupt commissioner and his pet project LA Riot along the way to a championship. Right from the get-go, the customization of Blitz the League 2 was very strong, as just like in the first game, you create your own team and try to fly through the division ranks. Growing up in Jersey, I of course chose New York for the location of my team and made sure to give them an interesting red and blue palette and called them my favorite team, the Giants. You can then customize your logo and stadium as you see fit. Once you create the team franchise will play for, you can then mold franchise into the player you wish him to be, as he will be the only two-way player in the game, meaning he'll play both offense and defense. Being a New York Giants fan, I know the value of a good running back and linebacker, so I made sure to make franchise into that style of player, and it made it much easier for me to fly through the divisions. What's really great about Blitz the League 2 is that it is a true sequel. It actually continues the story of the league from the first game, even explaining that four franchises have relocated to different cities, and that aside from your team, there are five other expansion franchises that see the league expand to 24 teams, and well beyond the Canadian and Mexican borders. Of course, being a Blitz game, this isn't just any brand of football. The bone-crunching, dirty hits have returned, and there is now the inclusion of your players to do some real damage to opponents after the play, like beating them in the skull with their own helmet. And if you should cause an injury to a player, a gruesome cutscene takes place, showing the insides of the player as ribs are cracked, concussions rattle brains, or gonads burst. Don't worry though, as you can take steroids on the sidelines to get back in the game faster if you can master the minigame routines that follow injuries. Just like in the NFL! The steroids part, not the minigames. There is also the Clash and Unleash bar at the top of the screen that fills up as you do well and can help you focus in on just when, what part of the body, and how much damage you can do to an opponent in one shot. Need to force a turnover? Fill up the Unleash bar and bring the pain as you guarantee almost every time an injury and a fumble by the poor sap you lay into. Lawrence Taylor, Hall of Fame New York Giants linebacker, the orchestrator of one of the ugliest hits in football history on Joe Theismann, and an expert on just how dirty football can be, returns as the cover athlete for the game and the voice of the aging New York Nightmare linebacker Quinton Sands. Along with Jay Moore as your agent, the voice talent for this game was surprisingly strong. Backed up by some improved graphics with some great looking weather effects, and the atmosphere for this game makes you feel like you're actually in the trenches yourself. I had a chance to actually talk to Lawrence Taylor back in 2008 when this game came out, and he compared it more to wrestling than actual NFL football. And if anyone out there is familiar with the original arcade version of Blitz, then you understand exactly what he means. The only real down point for the game is once you make it through the three divisions of the story mode, there isn't much to bring you back to the single player experience unless you want to relive many of the moments all over again or try your hand at a new position. There is at least a local and online versus mode, though, that can bring you back for more bone-crunching goodness with your friends if you just can't get enough to the dirtiest brand of football there is. Not to mention several interesting modes for the multiplayer like Butterfingers, where every big hit causes a fumble, and Prison Yard Ball. In the end, I felt that Blitz the League 2 was one of the most entertaining and original sports games experiences I've ever had, especially because of its arcade style distancing it from real football and not having to worry about roster changes, giving the game much more longevity than other sports games. Due to this, I can easily say this was worth a purchase in my book.